Coco? Coco? Where's Coco? Where's Coco going? Where's he going? Welcome to the Coco and Alex show, guys. I can't find Coco anywhere. Oh, what's going on? We got banana. We have a banana in here. Oh my goodness, we have a banana. I can't believe we got fruit because the world has got no fruit. Crikey, we're just going to end up with tins. Maybe bananas in tins. I don't know. We don't know. No one knows. Hey ho. But we have a banana. Fantastic. Coco, Coco, we have a banana. Where's Coco? Oh, hi, Coco. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, well done, Coco. Coco, what do you think of the banana? You want to eat that banana? No, you can't eat that banana because we can't eat the banana. It's, it's really important. It's very important that, that we keep the banana for all the sake. It's really important that the banana stays there always. No, you need to take the banana. No, you can't. Where's your phone? You left it in the office. Where's my phone? Steamer, is that your phone? Cut the steam. I can't. Where's the phone? No. Hello? Who's that? Donald? It's Donald. Donald who? Duck? Donald Duck? No. Trump. Trump. Who's Trump? We don't know Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Okay, Donald Trump. How are you, Donald Trump? Yes, I understand. Yes. He wants to know why we've got more views than he has. Coco said because we tell the truth and we're more famous. He wants to come on the show. Ask the audience. Donald, can we get back to you, please? We're important, please. Thank you very much. Coco, I can't believe you said that. In, in a national TV, you said that about Donald Trump. That's, that's a joke. You know, we're going to get in serious trouble now in this show. The kids love it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we have a talking banana in the house. This is ridiculous. We have a talking banana. We need to go see our landlord, Coco. Come on, let's see the landlord. And let's go and see her. We need to get the lift. We need to find the lift now. So where is this lift? Where is this lift? Landlord now. Hey landlord, we can't we have a talking banana on the stage this 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 stage. What are we gonna do? We have a talking banana on the stage. We can't perform unless me and Coco can't do this. And we need a rent reduced and council tax. Please talk to the council when the council tax reduced because we can't afford this anymore. Alright, come on, Coco, we need to get back up soon. This lift is broken. We need to use the stairs. Come on, Coco, there are millions and millions of stairs. Oh my goodness, Coco! Hurry up! The kids are waiting! Oh my goodness! Oh, come on! Oh! Oh! Coco! Me and me there! Guys, you need to get a breath back quickly, I'm really sorry. Let's move the talking banana out of here because this is ridiculous. That I don't want to hear Donald Trump anymore, I really don't. So, right. Leave the talking banana over there somewhere. Guys, welcome to the show, Coco and Alex show. Thank you very much. We need to get our breath back. Coco needs to get his breath back. That staircase has knocked me out. I am a bit fat, but hey ho. Right. I want to say a few things. Thank you to Starling City Radio in Scotland for covering us last night. Fantastic what you did. Thank you for Coconut Cover. The Coco and Alec show is brilliant. Get more viewers there. New Instagram post Coco and Alec. 50 followers already. 50, oh 70, sorry, 70 follows already, Coco. Well done, Coco. Keep the maths good. My maths are bad, but hey ho. So 70 followers on the new Instagram page. We had 16,000 views on Easter. 
the Easter 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 uh, art work. Fantastic! It was sixteen thousand views, which is brilliant. Oh my God, I think it's more than that. Director saying that, but hey ho, we can't cut that back now. So it is done. Right, and Facebook is growing 400 followers plus, and Coco and me are really happy, we are really happy, and we need a holiday. Where do you want to go for your holiday? Scotland, no, forget Scotland. I want to go somewhere exotic, Coco, please. Scotland is raining, the weather's bad, but Scotland's beautiful, but hey-ho. Right, so now, guys, we need to say a few thank yous, and welcome to a few people, as usual. Me see, hi, in London, me see, lovely, get ready to rumble. We're well, looking forward to seeing you a bit later on. Need to say sorry to a few people and other destinations like France and Spain. The internet cut down. They couldn't see the Coco and Alex show. They're trying to reboot that system. So I've got an email. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to be there. Anyways. Gabby Zita. Lovely to see you. Carla, Danielle. Hola, coma stars. Hola, coma stars. Kilko said it as well. There you go. And Zach. Oh, Zach in Philippines. Wow. Gonna do your art for your grandfather, good idea, get that ready. He needs to see something amazing, okay, so get that ready. Sanchez in Chile, hi, how are you? Kylie, <laughs> Kylie in London, Megan in Gloucestershire, Bogdan, Romania, um, Shimon uh, and Kanelka in Poland, hi. And who else have we got in here? Julian, Daniela, I love, hi, Chase, again, hi, great to see you guys. Fantastic, right, wow. Take a seat back, Coco. You'll come back on later. Right, with the banana, hopefully. We don't know. Maybe change into Banana Man. I don't know. Or Banana Coco. Right. Okay, question time from the last show was Who's your favourite superheroes and cartoon characters? We had loads of answers. Okay, so the first one, they're not in specific order, but we had a lot of answers. So the first ones that we had were Superman. Okay, Superman. That's fantastic it is. Superman. Great answer. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse we had as well, Pokemon, Pokemon characters, Pikachu, Ave and Waggy Taff, who is Waggy Taff, but hey ho, good Pokemon, brilliant, and Tom and Jerry we had, Flash and Superman, oh, whoa, Superman's here, dun 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 Great special effects, well done Superman. We might see you in tomorrow's show. No, no not tomorrow's show, the next show. Sorry guys again. Right, and uh, Spider-Man and Ladybug. Okay, Ladybug, all right, all right. Brilliant, wow. All right guys, that is all that. Now uh, we're going to go towards the most big thing that we all get excited for, which is the art lesson. Now today's art lesson will be similar to the egg one that we did for Easter, a bit of folding teach you overlapping drawing and you can draw this in your own time so we're going to go through this very slowly as slow as I can with you a lot of parents were really impressed with the other one that we did with the elephants you did a fantastic work I love seeing your art it's great keep sending it in so we're going to go first wait till Stephen Spoker brings the direction in here okay Okay, now we have our art. Okay, so as you can see, you have the A4 paper which she asked you for, colouring pens which she asked you for as well, felt tips. Okay, so I'm going to start with the black. And we're going to do similar to what we did the last show in Easter. Bring the, the, the A4 down. And press. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Coco. Beep, 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 beep. Well done, Coco. Good job, good job. Coco's gonna watch how we're doing this. Right. So now with this one, we need to bring this bit up. Beep, 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 beep. Like that. Beep, 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 beep. All right. There you go. Remember, Xander Artwork Productions. Beep, beep, beep. Xander Artwork Productions. Turn over. Bring this back up. Beep, 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 beep. Coco. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, Coco's enjoying it. Well done, Coco. Good job, good job. All right, okay. Now, <clears throat> Coco, sit down, please. All right, so now, we need to, with this one, you're going to have a, like a W, which you went through the last time. And you need to bring this, this bit here, around like that. Okay, so I can show it from the angle, so you can see. Okay. And that comes like that. 
Now with this one, we're going to do similar to what we did last time. Black pen. I'm going to hold this. And I'm going to start here. So I'm going to do a circle. There we are. A little circle in the middle. Blah, blah, blah. Little lines. One, two, three. Okay, so we have... I like a little eye. Then we're going to call this in a little bit later. So now we need to do round, all the way around, boop, to the end, to the edge there. Okay, right round, boop, there we are. Okay, and then from the bottom bit, from the other half, you bring this down, round, and you make a round hoop in there. I think And then you bring this one down and turn around and like that. So you've got a thick like that. Now, very important parts coming up. So this bit, bring the line down, another line down, and then you need to do a line there. A line there, up. Now this comes to the overlapping part in art. Okay, so you need to overlap figures. For example, if you see Coco, and then you have the famous golden egg from the last show, overlaps Coco. All right, so remember that key, that's the key. What's that Coco? Don't call your an egg. Okay, sorry. We're not calling your neck. Right. right, okay, so now with this bit, you need to do another line. There. And another line there. One, two, three. And you've got little feet. Little patas, as they say in Spain. Right, another line around here. Half moon, turn in, one, two, three. Okay. And then here, round, like that. And with this one, you do a line down there. Whoop. And then, Right in like that. And this one we're going to colour in later on. Right, so there we have a little bird, which is going to be our flamingo family. Now, do you know what flamingos are? Pink birds. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this colouring in a little bit later. Now, open it up, and you have like that. And from here, you need to cover the top part. So now, when you look at the bottom part, it's a headless little bird, which is ridiculous. So we need to get a head. We need to get a head. All right. So get the head. This one here, again, similar to the one that you did up the top. Round, big, round, 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 there. Okay. And we need to do a beak. Similar to how you did the other beak. Okay, line, boop, and then down. So you have a beak, similar to the one at the top. Don't forget the eye. Round, there, one, two, three. And we have a little, little flamingo. But what are we gonna do with this one? That's your question. Well, not question time, but that's your question. Right. Okay, what are we going to do with that one, Coco? You need to give it a body. Yes, of course. Well done, Coco. Good job. That's what you paid for. Sit down. Right. Now, so you've done this bit here. You need to concentrate on the top part. Now, because this is the, the, the adult bird, you need to make a long neck. So all the way down. Turn. 
and round. Okay, so you got a shape like that. The other one down and up. So you got a long neck and up, round, and remember the little tail. And then you need to do the wings. So half moon again, round, all the way up, and three. One, two, three. Now, this needs patas, feet. So let's bring it down. Long legs, another one down. And Coco, what's that? Looks like spaghetti. Yeah, it does look like spaghetti. Okay. All right. Okay. Now line one, two, like that. One, two, three. Okay, that's it done. So that's that bit done there, as you can see. Next bit, we need to bring this one here. So Coco, wait a minute, he's falling apart there. He's getting exhausted. Right. Triangle one. Two lines there to get a triangle. Line, line. Don't fall asleep, Coco. Wake up. All right, okay, that's the line there. Bring it through, overlapping what we talked about, overlapping. One, two, three. And there we have the mummy flamingo. All right. But we need to have something in this part as well. So we're going to do it the opposite way now. So, opposite way. So, round, circle, dot. Move this round. There we are. And then you can, you got the face there. Round. Like that. Down, round. Okay, and that we are around there, up there. So we've got the body now. So we're working on three flamingos. Always remember, do not go over this line here. So round. One, two, three. Okay. And then we need to get this one in here now as well. Down. Down. A line there. Line. One, two, three. Another line. One, two, three. Okay. And then you can colour this in how you want to. Now that's how it's going to look. Now let's have a look at this. So now when we do it, we have a situation like that. And with this, you can colour it how you want. So we can colour it with pink. I'll give you an example. So with pink, you might want to colour the this one here. So you can colour it all in how you want to. Make sure you colour it in. Don't cover over the eyes. I'll do it quite quickly. One example for you. Try and get in as close as you can to the area. So the flamingo looks nice and pink. Depends how creative you want to be with your own art. So use whatever colours you want to do. You can have any colour flamingo if you want. But the natural colour is a bright pink colour. There we are. And you can use orange for the feet. Beep, 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 beep. And you can use orange for the beak there. And this bit you can colour in black inside the eyes. And this bit, colour black round there. But leave a bit of white so the flamingo comes out. And if you had to colour them all, I'll show you what you're going to get in the end. But you can also do a nice technique around it to make sure that a different kind of shade, look. 
So you could do this. And this brings out your flamingo. It's just another effect that you can do in your art to make sure that the painting looks right. If you did that with all the birds, you would actually have a nice, nice effect. Okay, now I'm going to show you one that we did earlier on. So you can get an idea of how it looks when it's coloured. Just bear with me. Everything is so, so tough. Well done, Coco. So that is the example that we did. And that is your art done completely today. So, we did go back to the Steven Spielberg Productions. Right, guys. Hello. <laughs> Right, and that's your flamingos today. So let's see all your flamingos. I want to see them all coming in. I want to see them flapping around everywhere, which all the flamingos like to do. Yes, so that's exciting stuff. Now, Coco, what time is it now? It is question time. Right, guys, let's get ready to rumble. This, this music is getting worse and worse. It's like cats scratching walls or something like that. Right, guys. Big question, difficult question, educational question. Okay, and it's not who's Superman. No. What country was the one of the greatest artists, Pablo Picasso, born? What country was one of the greatest artists, Pablo Picasso, born? Give me your answers for the next show. We we'll look forward to that, and that's fantastic. Right guys, we're almost done now, so Coco, how are you? How Did you like that art? It was brilliant. Right, thank you Coco, your compliments are getting better. But you're still better. Yes, I know you're still better. We went through this so many times, you are a better artist, I know that. Where's the banana gone? Did anyone know where that banana's gone? Because the banana's disappeared. Where's the banana gone? The banana's completely gone. So, I don't know, I don't know where the banana's gone. It disappeared, it didn't mean it disappeared. Good, the bananas, the banana throwing things at me now in here. Cool. And where's, where's Mono gone? Mono, stop eating the banana. Mono, where's Mono disappeared? Mono, stop eating the banana. Woof, 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 woof. Where's Mono? Woof, 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 woof. Where are you gone? What's that? Where's, he ate the banana. Where's, the, where's Mono? I can't find, woof, woof. Coco, finish the show. Woof.